This is Marie McCabe doing an oral history for Historic Madison Incorporated. Today I'm interviewing Lillian Mailman. This is December 8, 1983. Now, Miss Mailman, will you give me your full name and, and spell your last name for me, please? Uh, Lillian Mailman, Lillian Susan Mailman, M O E H L M A N. And you were born here in Madison? Yes, born in Madison. How long ago? I was born in 1895. On what day? March 21st. I see. And where did your parents live at that time? Uh, they lived on West Mifflin Street. I think it was the 300 block. And I was born there, the 300 block on West Mifflin Street, in the block where the city library now stands. Oh. And what did your father do? My father was a carpenter contractor. And had he been in Madison quite a while? I think he had come to Madison from Sauk City, Wisconsin, when he was 21 years old. Oh, and did he marry your mother here he in married Madison? married my mother, who also came from Sauk City, Wisconsin. They were, mar they, were, they were married there. I see. Do you know what year? 18... 88. Mm -hmm. And were you the first child? No, my sister was born in 1890. Mm -hmm. Her she name? was Cora Mailman, mm -hmm. and she uh, never married and uh, lived with her parents, as I did, mm -hmm. all her life. Mm -hmm. What was your father's name and your mother's? William F. was my father, mm -hmm. William F. Mailman. My mother was the former Dorothea Niederer. Will you spell that? N-I-E-D-E-R-E-R. -E -E mm -hmm. And my father and mother uh, married a, a, a brother and sister, so we are, we are doubly related to their children. Uh -huh. Did they also come to Madison? Yes, they also came to Madison. Uh -huh. And other sisters and brothers of my father came to Madison, and we all lived in the same area near the square uh, either on Mifflin or Johnson or Bassett Streets. We oh. were quite a clan. Yes, yeah, so you had lots of cousins to play with. Yes, we did. And did you have any other uh, brothers or sisters? I had a, one more, um, a brother. Mm -hmm. He was born in 1897. He was William F. Mailman, Jr. Mm -hmm. And you all grew up in Madison. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. My sister died in 1852 of cancer. 1952? And uh, mm -hmm. 1952. Mm -hmm. And uh, my brother and I both uh, went to the university, and uh, he was a civil engineer and left Madison and uh, has been in various places, finally sent, settling in Tennessee, Knoxville, Tennessee. I see. Mm -hmm. He still lives there. Did the, your father build the house that you lived in? Yes, he built the house, the, our final home, on West Johnson Street, 440 West Johnson. Is that a pretty big house? Yes, it's a one-family house with four bedrooms. Mm -hmm. And he built that in 1923, I think. So before that, you had lived on Mifflin Street? We lived on Mifflin Street, mm -hmm. and then, then we moved to Dayton Street, 336 West Dayton, and that is the place that is now occupied by the Capitol Center. Oh, uh, the, yes. Those apartments mm -hmm. and various Community places. Center. Mm -hmm. Community Center. Uh -huh. I see. So you were, that was the other side of the square, though. From, that from was on West, West Dayton, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And then you went to West Johnson? West Johnson, only okay. another block or so Okay, I've away. been picturing East Johnson. Now I no, have No, it's all west. Uh-huh, I see, uh-huh. Well, you didn't have the kind of traffic there <laughs> then that there no. is on Johnson. No, I remember we'd walk up Dayton Street to to the uh, to State Street. You come through a alley alley behind where what is now the Yost store. Mm -hmm. There used to be an alley going up through there to uh, to State Street. So we were quite near the square mm -hmm. too, and the square was one of our favorite walking places. Oh, I'm sure there were things going on up uh -huh. there. <laughs> yes. Well, when you were little, um, what was the ho first house like that you were in? Well, I don't remember the one on Mifflin Street. No. Uh, we moved to 
Dayton, Dayton Street. Mm -hmm. Well, what well, about this, Dayton Street? This was a, a small house um, with a with bedrooms upstairs, one bedroom downstairs and two bedrooms upstairs, and uh, a front front porch and a back porch, and it was quite low to the ground. I mean, the porch was, and there was a good yard in the back and a garden, a big garden, mm -hmm. and. Uh, you shared a room with your sister? Yes, I shared a room with my sister, uh-huh. That was the way of things in those days, wasn't mm -hmm. it? <laughs> we um, had a, uh, we did, we had, went one time that I can remember way back, we had a horse. My father had a horse for his business uh, mm -hmm. with a cart. And that horse was kept in a, in a barn across the street. But mm -hmm. everybody had a barn or some place. Yeah. They didn't have garages then. Mm -hmm. But if they had a horse or any other reason, they had a little barn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Had a barn, uh huh. And we uh, we had a telephone. I remember having a telephone. Uh, I don't know just when, but I know that many of the neighbors used our phone, so it mustn't have been common to have mm -hmm. a phone. I suppose your father needed one for his business. Maybe he did. Uh huh. Did he work for a company? Or no, for he had his own business, and he had these several brothers that oh. worked with him. Mm -hmm. Did it have a name? Uh, well, he called it Mailman Brothers. Mailman Brothers. Mailman Brothers Construction. Building construction. Oh, building uh -huh, construction. Uh -huh. And he did homes and. Um, well, he liked working in the country, working on barns and and all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. But he built houses too. Mm -hmm. But not great big uh, buildings not around big, the square. Not big. Not commercial buildings. Uh -huh. No. Oh. Well, um, what did your uh, mother do? Just, uh, she, she kept the house? kept house and she loved gardening. She oh. did a lot of gardening, mm -hmm. but she just kept house. That was her... And she raised the children. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Well, it wasn't as easy then. Uh, what Do you remember what sort of... Um, mm. What way she did wash the clothes, for instance? She, did she do oh, the... Oh, uh, we... Let's see. I know washing was a real problem always because the night before you did the washing, you soaked the clothes and then the next day you spent the day on that and you hung, hung them outdoors on the line to dry. And I think later on we got a washing machine, but at first we had, had to get use a washboard and, and wash the clothes on that. Mm, and and we boiled the clothes always mm -hmm. after, well, mm -hmm. after they were washed on the board, then you put them in the boiler and boil them. Mm -hmm. What kind of fire? On the stove was a... Uh, for a long time, we had a, a stove where you b burned wood, mm -hmm. but then later we got a, a gas stove. Mm -hmm. But you boiled the clothes in the basement, probably, didn't you? Well, we didn't have very much basement on Dayton Street, oh. but later as we went on to Johnson Street, we had a basement. Mm -hmm. By that time, we had a, a washing machine, too. Mm -hmm. But on on Dayton Street... And I suppose gas came in somewhere along the Gas. Too. We had gas, the gas long line. before we had any electric utilities. Mm -hmm. And then you could have a little gas burner. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember and that. we had an old-fashioned uh, refrigerator where you, the ice was brought in uh, mm -hmm. in lumps mm -hmm. from, the, from the street when somebody come, came to... The ice man would come? With his, yes. He had uh -huh. a cart, I suppose. And mm -hmm. then we had to, they would drip, the water would drip, you know, mm -hmm. and then the, the pan under the, under the refrigerator, which is a little, quite a lot of trouble to take out all the time. No, oh, it all would always run over in our uh -huh. house, and then you uh -huh. had to mop it all up. Or uh -huh. it would be so full that you mm -hmm. couldn't empty it without uh -huh. uh, slopping it. Mm -hmm. We had a plum, a very nice plum tree in our yard, and it bore a good crop of plums, and we were always, in the fall, making plum jam from that. Mm -hmm. That was one of our... Our garden, I think, was our nicest thing on Dayton Street. Lots Did you um, get to help with it at all? Did you? I helped a little, but mm -hmm. not too much. It was my mother's garden. Children aren't too anxious to pull no. weeds, I remember no. from my own experience. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice. And um, um, do you remember what kind of heat you had in the house? On, on Dayton Street, we had a, a coal stove. Uh, and then in the kitchen we had a wood stove. Mm -hmm. But you had a, a furnace in the basement? No, there was no furnace. It was the, just the a heating, parlor stove, sort of. The, uh, 
the heat up to the bedrooms came up through a, uh, I don't know what you call it, kind of some round thing that had a hole, holes sort of in it. A register, wasn't it? A register, mm -hmm. uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the, but a big a big um, coal stove heated. Yes, a big coal stove that was in, in the, the living room. In the living room, mm -hmm. heated the whole house. In yeah. in fact, I let's see. The living room was uh, was sort of a dining the dining room, and then the front room. We just called the front. The other first room was called the front room. Mm -hmm. and then comes the uh, dining room, and then the bedroom behind and the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And. Um, Oh, let's see, what was I going to ask you about that? If you want to know. So, oh, where did you keep the coal? I, I don't really know where that coal was kept. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I had nothing to do with oh, it, so I didn't. I see. It just reminded me that we had a coal bin in one corner of the basement, and the, um, the delivery man would come with a little chute that he put through a window, mm -hmm. and the coal would go down into that. And I bet you had one like that, too. I can't remember th about that. Because I really everybody had very had much it. little to do with it, I mm -hmm. guess. <laughs> but if you didn't have much basement, that might not be No, we, we had a basement, but you had to go down the stairs from the kitchen mm -hmm. down there. I know we kept the, the big um, jars of sauerkraut down there. Oh. Uh, that was a, a everything every month. The whole area there had to make sauerkraut, and we had a family down on the corner, the Newmans, that they had a a, a, a cutter, mm -hmm. and we'd all borrow the cutter from the them, cutter. <laughs> and then we would cut that sauerkraut and put it in big jars down in the basement. Then you had to go down the basement once in a while to to watch there those jars and keep the top clean. Mm -hmm. And you ate a lot of sauerkraut. Yes, we were Germans, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And our neighborhood was mostly German Catholics, uh, so we were a little bit out of place because we were Presbyterian, oh. and and uh, we have remained in that same church all these years, the Christ Presbyterian Church. But um, that was close by. And we had a, a few Irish Catholics in our neighborhood, but mostly German. And our next door neighbors was a big family with a big house. They had eight children. What and was their name? Their name was Bowles, B O L T Z. Oh, mm -hmm. and what uh, was, do you know his first name? John, I think John, John Bowles. I've heard of an Adolf mm -hmm. Bowles, but it's another connection. And sure. uh, their uh, their cousins were the Newmans down on the corner. Mm -hmm. You see, families seem to stay near each other. Mm -hmm. Now their family was near each other, and another brother was on State Street, so. Your fa family was not uh, speaking German at home, though, was it? Well, there was some Germans. My father liked to speak German, mm -hmm. and when my mother's father came to visit us, we spoke German. Oh, so you children knew some Yes, too. I knew quite a little German, mm -hmm. and so when I got to school, I was pretty good in German. Mm -hmm. I, I guess could. it stays with you when mm -hmm. you learn it young. Even since I live here, we've had a German class for a while, and it was lots of fun, and many of us here knew German somewhat, so we enjoyed the class a lot. Did your um, group mix with the German group that was on the other side of the square, the east side? No. I knew there was quite a settlement there. No, we didn't. Of um, also many of whom spoke German at home. Mm -hmm. But that was that was quite a nucleus mm -hmm. you had there. There was mm -hmm. the Turner Hall over there too, mm -hmm. but we didn't go you to didn't that. You didn't go there. No. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, that is a little different. The only uh, church that uh, had a German service was the uh, Lutheran church over there on East Washington Avenue, oh. right off the square. Mm -hmm. But a good many of the Germans were Catholic, as you said. Yes, they were that. Catholic. That uh, Holy Redeemer Church yeah. had a German service mm -hmm. always. Mm -hmm. So, well, um, did you do you remember the jars that your mother used to put up from the garden? of um, the canned goods. Was that kept in the basement, do you remember? Or? Yeah, I think she, that mm -hmm. was kept in the basement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had a room we called the cooler that was just for that sort of mm -hmm. thing. It was walled off so it wasn't heated. Mm -hmm. But I've heard that that little room called other things, mm -hmm. and I, I, you probably yes. don't remember what you called it. I, uh, I was kind of protected from going to the basement very much, but I know that my mother and my sister had to go down the basement a lot, and they kept the carrots and the potatoes and the Beets. Uh, mm -hmm. things like that down there. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it sounds like you were well supplied. Do you remember where you got your meat and, and other groceries? Well, when I remember it, I, it there was a, this store up on, on up in the on Johnson Street, or near the square. It's in Neswig's. Neswig is that Neswig? the Neswig Neswig Neswig's store? Yeah, uh -huh. Was there? Oh. And also, we'd go to State Street. There were a lot of stores on State Street. Oh. There were grocery stores on the square too. You could go up. Uh, yes, go. I heard of a big one that was over near the, what was the Belmont Hotel? Yeah, the Pipers, that, I think. Like maybe so. And there were other stores, and they put their goods, some of them would put it bears, uh, barrels of things out, like mm -hmm. apples or mm -hmm. nuts or something, and you, the kids would walk around the square and take a, a sample <laughs> sample all the time. I see. Things that were around that. Were they supposed to do that? <laughs> I don't know if they were. Maybe that was to <laughs> encourage Probably them to come not. back. Oh, I see. Well, oh. we were lucky. We were very near the school, uh, on to Washington School. Oh, yeah. Uh, on Dayton Street, only a block away. See, we were we were near uh, the not Main Street, Broom Street, Broom Street, Broom Street. And Our first cross street was Broom Street. Mm -hmm. And then the school was on, uh, on the East corner of West Broom, Washington. Broom mm -hmm. and Washington, mm -hmm. but we then we're living behind. You see, we're only about a block away from mm -hmm. the our next location mm -hmm. on Johnson Street, but on Dayton Street we were only mm -hmm. only a, a, a block or so off the square. Well, do you remember um, uh, playing games with your children in the area, your cousins and? Yeah, we'd play out in the street some. Uh huh. And did you, you probably remember having dolls when you were little? Maybe one doll? <laughs> I, I wasn't very much, I had dolls, but I wasn't much interested in regular dolls. I liked paper dolls because I wanted, I liked ladies. Oh. I wanted ladies and I, I was interested in, and I was always trying to get my sister to play lady with me with my paper dolls. So you'd, you'd get a book of paper dolls and cut them out? I think we'd cut them out of, yes, or ads, anywhere we'd find them, see, newspapers uh -huh. or anywhere. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we'd get some for Christmas, purchased ones, but mostly we uh, They used to have them in magazines, too. Mm -hmm. and I re recall seeing mm -hmm. some old magazines where mm -hmm. you could cut them out. And uh, yes, you'd play much more imaginative games with ladies than uh, mm -hmm. with just babies, I'm sure. So. Um, your um oh i was going to ask you about your house too if you remembered what sort of uh, cleaning tools your mother had oh i don't know i just just a broom and a mop i think i don't not nothing i'm not a not a vacuum cleaner mm -hmm. or anything like mm -hmm. that and then did she do spring cleaning and oh yes and then the rugs would all have to be taken out and and hung on the the uh, line but we, since we had these many uncles and people, and men in the family, they'd take out all the big, all the rugs and shake them out for us, and and do a lot of that mm. sort of thing, and <laughs> and uh, repaint the place and and do a lot of work and of that kind. The walls would be washed down, and uh -huh. and so I think in a way, the women in the family had a little easier time because there were men available that worked oh, for my right. father and that would always, he could have them come and do the heavy do things, things for us. Uh -huh. And did your mother do any sewing? Yes, she sewed quite a little. She, she, she made dresses for me, I remember, when I was little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, we also had a dressmaker next door, one of these eight children next door who was a, who will grow up to be a dressmaker so we could get her to do things for oh, us. Oh yes, she was a bolt, you mm -hmm. said. Uh -huh. Oh, that was handy. By the way, one of those children, uh, two of those children are still uh, living. One is in the nursing home in Middleton, and the other it lives near the Madison General Hospital. I just talked to her a few days ago. Oh, on and the what telephone. are their names? One is Mrs. Stoddard in Middleton, She's been there in the nursing home for a long time. And the other one is Mrs. Esser, oh, Mrs. Yes. Christ Esser. And what are their first names? Uh, Catherine. Catherine Bowles and then... Catherine Bowles Esser mm -hmm. and Florence Bowles Stoddard. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. well that's nice. So you s still keep up with your former neighbors? Yes. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> You've known them all these years? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you get together occasionally over the years? Well, not in recent years. Mm -hmm. they. They they went different directions and mm -hmm. 
I kept up mostly with Catherine, the lad, mm -hmm. the youngest one. Well, then um, uh, you started off to school, and you went to um, Washington. Washington was School. Mm -hmm. and I went right through Washington School, mm -hmm. and so did my sister and brother. We mm -hmm. all went to Washington School. And, and, and do you remember any of your teachers there in the different Mary days? Edgar was the principal. Edgar. Mm -hmm. Mary Edgar was a very strong character and a very good teacher, a very good person. And Did uh, this go from first through eighth in those days? Oh, yes, one to oh, eight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Did you have kindergarten? No, there wasn't any oh, kindergarten. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you started in first grade at about mm -hmm. six years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I remember in the first grade that the teacher was, to me, seemed to be a very old lady. <laughs> but, and I can't even remember her name now, just this minute. But um, she was very good, too. Mm -hmm. But she was like my grandmother, I thought. Uh, well, she may have been. Maybe she was old, I don't know. And what about some of the other ones? Do you remember any names? Uh, uh, there was a Miss Jones I had, and uh, and Miss Edgar had a, a niece that uh, taught there. I can't even remember her name, but she was pretty, and the boys all liked her. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, did you play games at school? Do you remember no, the no. I think maybe we run around a little bit outdoors mm -hmm. in at recess, but I don't think we were ever did you, you encouraged to play any games or do anything much outdoors. Any um, jumping rope? And, uh, I suppose you lived so close, you got uh -huh. there just in time for school. No, mm -hmm. uh -huh. we we didn't spend much time in the school grounds, mm -hmm. oh, uh -huh. except just the recess. Yes, and then I suppose you did some of these. Ring around the rosy types of things. Uh -huh. the bell I can't and, remember mm -hmm. doing much of anything. Remember playing jacks with jacks? I did play them around home. I do remember with oh, the neighbor uh -huh. neighborhood mm -hmm. children. Uh -huh. So, do you remember having a? Well, this is a, a minute thing, but I was just wondering about how long the school day was compared to now. Well, I don't. I think it was quite long because. Uh, we being so close, you know, mm -hmm. we got home in a hurry. I don't know just how long we were there. Uh, it seems to me we got home quite early. Mm -hmm. Well, it's probably not too different, except now it seems to me that they're out by, you know, quarter to three or something. No, I don't it think we, I think we it was more like four o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, so you enjoyed school, I presume? Yes, I did, uh-huh. And your um, you had your sister to go first, and so you weren't Yes, that frightened. helped. Mm -hmm. You walked together, I and, suppose. And I, I learned from her about the library and how to use the library. Oh. And I, I was told that, and I liked to have, she read books to me, and she, I was told that it, as soon as I could learn to write my own name, I could have a library card. Oh, yes. So that gave me an incentive to mm -hmm. learn to write. And the library was right there where... Um, and, well, then, when I, the first time I went to the library, it was still in the city hall. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. In the first floor of the city hall. Mm -hmm. That's when I learned to, to write. But that was, was um, real early. Then the library, the new library, was built in 1909, I think. Oh, yes, that, 1909, that Carnegie. Carnegie Library. Mm -hmm. So by that time, oh, I remember that new building, that beautiful, I thought it was just beautiful, like a castle. Mm -hmm. And the whole downstairs was children's library, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Children's mm -hmm. library on the first floor. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So uh, there were uh, lots of places for you to explore. You liked to read then? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I liked to read. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, you know, the library school, they got that building because it could have a, uh, such a big building because they, have, could, they had the library school upstairs. They, uh -huh. The state organized that library school. Oh. And I finally landed in that myself. Oh, did you? <laughs> uh -huh. Well, you will, we'll have to get you there um, through a series of steps here. Uh, do you remember what you wore to school when you were little? When I was little? I haven't any recollection. I wasn't, I'm not any, I'm not. You must have had little dresses, I presume, and long black stockings, maybe? I, I know, but long black stockings, probably, and warm clothes in the winter. We mm -hmm. didn't have so many sweaters as we have now. I think oh. we wore a wool dress. Mm -hmm. Probably yeah. kept the buildings a little warmer. Mm -hmm. 
And do you remember um, playing in the snow and having, did you wear leggings or something like this to keep your legs warm? Uh, I, I suppose we did, but uh, I know we were always trying to keep our keep warm, wear warm coat, you coats. You had to wear long underwear, I guess, Oh, yeah, we did wear long underwear, mm -hmm. I think, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and caps, mm -hmm. knitted caps. And, uh, that can be pretty cold in mm -hmm. the Madison in the mm -hmm. winter. And I think it's easier for little girls now when they can wear long, mm -hmm. wear slacks and mm -hmm. yeah. warmer things without worrying about it. Um, so you went to, to the grocery store nearby, and what about other supplies? Do you remember other stores on the square that or nearby that you where you'd get hardware or mm. uh, dry goods? Mm. Well, I think there was the New York store on the square. Oh, what did that carry? I haven't heard of that one. Way over on the on Main Street, Main Street. Oh. And they sold mostly rugs, but they also general merchandise. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember very much when I was real little, um, mm -hmm. uh, when I was young, about, I didn't think I went along much for shopping. My sister was the one that went shopping, and mm -hmm. she was five years older than I, so she was way ahead of me and protected me from a lot of things. Mm, I imagine so. You two got along pretty well together? Oh, yes. Uh huh. And what about your brother? Did, were you all? Oh, yes. He he was uh, uh, more more masculine, more boyish, yeah. and, and liked to do things. <laughs> and playing he, ball. <laughs> and he did things with his boy cousins. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. So he was out doing different things. We didn't play together very much. Were there some vacant lots around where they could play ball and Yes, the there, were, there were plenty of places where they could play. Oh, uh -huh. I presume so. Uh -huh. And uh, in the summer, we, our chief and uh, trip in the summer was to the cemetery. We could go in the, with a streetcar. Oh. My father would take us to the cemetery, and then on the way back, sometimes we'd stop to visit some of his relatives uh, that lived on out farther. But the um, I guess the um, the streets were um, had some sort of topping on them um, around the square anyway. They weren't still dirt streets like the early days. No, no, they were they were they were black topped or something. They were good streets. Uh -huh. But there were a lot of um, um, horses and carriages going around in those days. Listen, I remember <coughs> one one thing one time on the square. Uh, but there must have been horses going around, and, and a car came along, and the, uh, there was a runaway. This horse got scared and ran mm -hmm. away because a car was kind of rare. Mm -hmm. But I, I did observe that, see that, and was mm -hmm. scared and ran into a building because I thought the horse was going to oh, yes. run over me. Uh -huh. Yes, I presume that happened every once in a while. With, mm -hmm. uh, uh, do you remember their having to clean the streets? That's what I associate with horses. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't remember cleaning the streets, mm -hmm. but I do remember that a that a vegetable man came around, and also a bakery cart um, oh. came along the street, and mm -hmm. we could go out and buy things from from mm -hmm. him. I suppose your mother did most of the yes, cooking, uh -huh. no no yes. frozen foods in those so, days. Uh huh. So you went all um, all through eight grades at mm -hmm. the one school. Mm -hmm. And then when you uh, finished there, where did you go? The uh, uh, Madison High School. Mm -hmm. It was then Madison High School because it was the only high school. Mm -hmm. And we, all three of us children, went to Madison High School. Mm -hmm. And I graduated in 1913. And, uh, did you enjoy your high school days? Yes, I did. Uh huh. Were there clubs that you could belong to? Or yeah, run? I belonged to... Um, I think it was the Nautilus Club I belonged oh. to, but um, I was mostly interested in my schoolwork. I I didn't don't seem to have had very much extra fun there. <laughs> I just <laughs> you didn't you uh, you don't remember parties and um, no, dances there, and that no, sort of no, I didn't I didn't, didn't go to any dances or anything oh, like uh -huh. that. I I. Uh, I went to school things, strictly school things. Do you remember your parents having, having um, entertaining, having parties, or 
you had family affairs. We you? had family parties for holidays, for Christmas and New Year's and Thanksgiving, but it's from one family to the other, and we mm -hmm. stuck together as a family pretty much. The whole family would go to one place. Oh, it had to be a pretty big place. It got to that. be pretty big. Or some, by and by, they began to split a little bit mm -hmm. when they, some and of the children married and. Did everybody take food then, or did the person? Oh, many, yeah, many times everybody brought something, mm -hmm. but the hostess would provide the main thing, the mm -hmm. turkey or something like that. Well, you have an impression of being well fed and well clothed. And, oh, um, yes. Uh -huh. uh, your father was doing pretty well in his business, mm -hmm. and there must have been lots of building going mm -hmm. on at that time. He missed it. He missed many opportunities. He had a chance to take a piece of land and play for his work, you know, and mm -hmm. sometimes he spoke of places in where he could have had, oh, well, that was a good piece of land he could have had if he had taken it. But, you yes, know, he didn't have the... Well, yes, and you just had no idea what was yeah, going to he, happen at Nobody time. knew how much mm -hmm. Madison would grow. Mm -hmm. Were you around when the Capitol burned? Yes, I can remember one thing faintly about it, that we were on Dayton Street, and I remember my mother having a stand in the front window, because we could see the something, the smoke or flames. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, we, she was told, telling us about the fire in the Capitol. You could smell it, I imagine, mm -hmm. too. But you didn't we get, weren't very far from it, really. Yeah. You didn't get to go up and look. You know. I don't remember going up near it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was probably considered wiser because there must have been crowds around mm -hmm. then. So then, but your father didn't have anything to do with the rebuilding, did he? No, no, mm -hmm. no, he didn't. I know that went on for a long time, mm -hmm. the process, but. Uh, must have been quite a shock to people. But you were young, you were little then. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember um, any of your teachers from um, high school? High school? Oh, yes. Uh, I just can't say their names right no. now. My memory is Did you take Latin today. and German? Um, I took Latin and German, you said. And I. Uh, Miss, uh, I just can't say their names right now. Mm -hmm. If you think of them later, you can tell mm -hmm. me. It's, it really isn't important. Um, do you remember the principal or, or any of the people who were there? The principal? I think uh, so many, there have been so many principals since then at that <laughs> high school. And <laughs> I, I think maybe the high school. I mean, I worked hard to get through and mm -hmm. and go on to the next thing, and mm -hmm. I, I it didn't stick in it your didn't mind. Didn't stick in Did my mind. Did you know all the time that you'd be going on to the university? Yes, I knew when I was in high in grade school. Mm -hmm. Had your sister gone? No, she hadn't. No, oh. but she she went to business college oh. here in Madison. Here in Madison, uh -huh. and she worked, and she it was really through her influence that my brother and I went to school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, you liked books so much; mm -hmm. you knew you'd be good at it. But too. I had made my made up my mind when I was before I was in eighth grade. I remember telling people that I was was going instead of saying I'm going to go to high school. I said I'm going to university, but high school was just on the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I did. So you so you worked hard and enjoyed it, and uh, I suppose you took the usual classes. The yes, I and I I consulted the. Um, High school librarian about the the subjects I should take uh, that would prepare me for for being to going to library school mm -hmm. eventually, mm -hmm. and she helped me. She was Ruth Rice oh. at that time, mm -hmm. and uh, and you knew you wanted to be a librarian. I knew I knew that way back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The minute I saw that new library building, I guess I made that decision. Mm -hmm. But earlier, even when I tried to get to that library in the City Hall yeah, to get a book. It just <coughs> intrigued you. Well, that's nice uh, to know so early what you mm -hmm. want to work for. And um, so you didn't, um, you don't remember, uh, aside from the Nautilus Club, which was, what kind of club was that? Well, that was a Latin club. Huh? Oh, uh -huh. And you weren't in glee clubs or uh, no, orchestras I, or things? I didn't have any mm -hmm. talents in mm -hmm. music, although I liked music and I enjoyed it listening to it. Somebody told me about the um, study hall. Do you remember the uh, big study hall at, in high school? We, 
I suppose we had study halls, but I don't have any remem remembrance about them, really. Well, Emma Glenn's was telling me about this big, yeah. big study hall. I don't uh -huh. know if you went to the auditorium or where, mm -hmm. and how the boys used to throw spitballs and, they, mm -hmm. and, and caused one teacher to to break down because they everybody was acting up. You know, I even lost my uh, uh, Tycho Brown, I guess, is the book we used to have, the mm -hmm. yearbook. Mm -hmm. When I moved up here, I guess, I discarded a lot of things and that disappeared. And I'm so sorry that that's gone because... Uh, what year, Ron? Um, 1913. You, you graduated and I've been trying 13? to get a copy of that. You know, I think I might be able to get one for you. I saw one just the other night at the meeting we had of this oral history group, somebody oh. brought two copies of the Tycho Baron. Oh. And one of them was a 1913, I Oh, think. I'd give anything for to find well, one. I'll call Grace Shaw. She, um, I think she works at the library or someplace sometimes as a volunteer. And I'm pretty sure that that was one of the uh, years that she had. The only person I know that has, I know has a copy of it, which she might be glad to give up, I, but it's her own class, too, and that's Stella McCauley. I don't know if you ever heard of her. No. She's all, she's at one of those homes out in... in uh, Stella McCauley? Those low-cost homes oh, okay. out on the east, on the south side. Uh-huh. M-C? M-A-C-A-U-L-A-Y. McCauley. Oh, yes, uh-huh. And, uh, and she was a class of 1913. Well, I'm going to write a note here to call Grace Shaw about the Tycho Brown. And I, 1913 is the one you One time, I, uh, Paul at Paul's bookshop told me he thought he had some old copies of yearbooks, but mm -hmm. he never got down to searching for it in his basement, and he died then. And I've never asked his wife to go down and look some more. Do you know if the library has a set of those? I don't know. They're probably, this, I would think somewhere in the, in that's, the library that there'd the, be some. That, that's what we were saying at this meeting, that they probably had a there set. There must be some the, there. I've so always intended to look it up somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is nice to go back mm -hmm. and look at those, isn't it? Um, did you do any uh, writing or anything? Um, Besides just your classwork? No, I don't think I did. Not any. You were a reader, and, and uh -huh. uh, uh, I wondered if you remember being if the programs in the auditorium, and if you ever took part in any of those. No, I don't even remember that there were any very outstanding programs no. that, mm -hmm. that I remember. Mm -hmm. Well, so um, by this time, oh, I guess probably you're, uh, you, do you have any real recollection of what sort of clothes you wore to high school? Uh, not in general, but I do remember that when we had one function that I had to have a new dress and I got a, my mother had this, this new neighbor make me a dress of a yellow, uh, yellow silk. Mm -hmm. but it was very pretty, very, uh, uh, it was more of a, it, you know, we didn't wear evening dresses then, but it was to be worn to an evening dinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you probably wore a long skirt. No, it wasn't a long skirt. Um, it was probably a ankle length. I see. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But girls, but everyone was still wearing sort of long dresses mm -hmm. in those days. Yes. And, uh, mm -hmm. Until the 20s, it seems mm -hmm. to me, weren't they? Uh -huh. So, um, uh, And in the winter, I suppose you just had to bundle up. Yes, um, and we For Easter, did you always get new uh, outfits? Oh, yes. I mean, we usually had a, at least a new hat. And the Coins Millinery Shop on the square. and Coin? Coin, uh -huh. spell that? The Coin, C-O-Y-N-E. Two oh, Coin yeah. Sisters. Oh, uh-huh. Sounds I Irish. I think I'm <laughs> right near near the Park Motor, uh, that in that block, uh -huh. near the Park Motor Inn. And you, you know, get your hats there? We get a new hat there and mm -hmm. a new uh, a spring suit of some kind. There were, yeah. some, uh, there were several uh, ladies wear stores around the square, weren't there? Ladies wear stores? Yes, yes there were. 
a Kornhauser's was the main store where uh, near where where the um, uh, on Mifflin Street. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm trying. Well, there was um, Burdick and Murray was yeah Burdick and Murray's uh -huh. was around there, mm -hmm. and uh, those are the two main ones for women's wear, mm -hmm. I think. The city and hall the, was up on a corner there, um, where Woolworths is now, isn't it? City hall, yes, mm -hmm. and across from that was the post office. Oh, where Manchester's was. Where man? Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When did the post office move to the other I don't location? remember just when, but it, that was a difficult when it did move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it had to go way all uh -huh. across the square. And it, wasn't there a theater up there on the square? Uh, the well, there still Fuller, is a little, oh yeah, Fuller there's the Opera. Fuller Opera House, mm -hmm. yes. Uh -huh. Did you go to the theater? Once in a while, but I couldn't afford it very often, uh -huh. but we did go once in a while. Mm -hmm. And there were, um, were they movies or were they plays? That they there were plays, oh, plays mm -hmm. and musical things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And your family would go once mm -hmm. in a while. The first movies were in a, just a little uh, bicycle store on State Street. You could, you went to, the, that's the very first one that oh. I went to. Mm -hmm. And was it a, a, a big screen or just a small? No, a small screen. Uh -huh. It was kind of an amateur place, I guess. Oh. But very soon then we got a real movie house. Where, do you remember where? Well, there was one on up on Monona Avenue, mm -hmm. where we had a, a visiting uh, group of actors that put on plays. Oh. But we had movies too up there. Hmm. No, things change so much around Madison. Yes, that's that's mm -hmm. one reason why we want to get people's recollections uh -huh. because these things just disappear and mm -hmm. you never hear of them again. Um, did you go on trips in the summer at all? Uh, well, when we were young, we we didn't we we'd only go to visit rib relatives, maybe in Sauk City or mm -hmm. in Baraboo. How would you go there? Well, we went by train, oh. and we also went to uh, Lake Kigansa and Lake Wabisa, and we went by train there at first, mm -hmm. and then later uh, later when we began to have cars, why we went with. A and we went on the boat too to to uh, to to Esther Beach on oh, Monona. I've heard of that. Uh -huh. Yeah, th there we we'd go by boat. Really, that was our transportation transportation. Uh, but did you do you remember the Chautauqua? Uh, no, I knew it was going on mm -hmm. there at some time, but I I never went to it. It was out in you know, Old Brick um, Park uh -huh, way or something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you you recall having a good time and um, enjoying yourself pretty much. You know? mm -hmm. What yeah. about the um, um, summers? What did you do when you were in high school? Let's see, sometimes I worked. I, I worked at the university one time along with some other girls um, in at Lathrop Hall at waiting on table. Oh, they had a they had a restaurant or they served mm -hmm. food in there, mm -hmm. so I I worked there, and uh, but I never never got a job. I never even thought of getting a job as a helping in a library. I didn't know about that I could get a mm -hmm. job there. Mm -hmm. So that's the only work I did, and otherwise I just uh, stayed at home. I guess. Did you go? Did you use the lakes at all? Did you go to the beaches? Yes, we did go to the lake a lot and to the to the uh, to the other lakes, Monona and 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 Wingra mm -hmm. to the to the parks and and uh, Wingra Park was there then uh-huh so yes. was, how would you get there by this bus streetcar oh you take the streetcar street we used uh -huh. the streetcar a lot mm-hmm mm -hmm. do what did it cost to ride the streetcar oh car? I think it cost a nickel oh mm-hmm mm -hmm. I think it still was a nickel and there was a when summer street an open streetcar you know for oh. summer uh, so you could just step on and step off right from where you were sitting. It was nice and breezy mm -hmm. <laughs> too, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds good. Let me just stop this because I think it's near the end. This is the end of tape one. Um, you're you're still in high school, and I wanted to ask you what who your friends were. 
Oh, I, I can. I only can remember one, Blanche McCarthy. Uh, was she a neighbor? No, no. I just somebody. I guess I met her. Met her in school. I can't even remember. She lived didn't live near us. Uh -huh. So, you, but you went around with her in school. Went around with her. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Did you uh, go to um, youth activities at the church? Yes, we, we went to them very much. Uh, you had Christian Endeavor. Christian Endeavor and and earlier to classes, just class, high Sunday school classes. And then as we get older, it was Christian Endeavor. And much of our social life did center on the church. Mm -hmm. you, did you have some parties there? And uh, Yes, we often had, not as many as they have now. I think now they have more and more. Mm -hmm. But we had many uh, parties and, and the teachers, the teachers in Sunday school meant more to me than in school, I guess. Oh, well, yeah. I, school was business. Mm -hmm. I had to, I, I didn't, I never was very, uh, intimate with my teachers at school, mm -hmm. it seems to me, as I can remember it. But uh, did your family go to church regularly? Uh, yes, my, my mother did, especially. My father mm -hmm. didn't always mm -hmm. go, but once in a while he'd go mm -hmm. with us. And you'd walk, uh, We'd suppose, walk to church. Uh -huh. All dressed up in your best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my sister was very active in church, too. Oh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Did you ever go to a summer camp? No, I didn't. Uh, the. Uh, there was one near where I lived, and my mm -hmm. brothers and sister went mm -hmm. to a church camp. Mm -hmm. that was, and we were Presbyterian too, mm -hmm. so I thought perhaps you had. Um, what do you remember about your graduation ceremonies at high school? Mm -hmm. I, I all I can remember, I don't remember the ceremony in itself. Where was it? I can't seem to remember at all. Mm. I do remember that I had a white dress with a lot of lace on it. And I had, had some red roses, a oh. red rose pinned on mm -hmm. me. It wasn't, uh, you don't remember it being at the Capitol? I'm I not sure that it was. But I don't uh, think it was mm -hmm. at the Capitol. Oh, uh -huh. I, I don't know where it was. I suppose it was in the high school building. Maybe so. Mm -hmm. Some way I got graduated without <laughs> noticing it. <laughs> You've had too many other graduations <laughs> since, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> Um, so then you were, I suppose, about 18, was it 1913, mm -hmm. you said, when you graduated? 1913, I was 18, uh-huh. Uh-huh. And do you remember any of the prominent people in the class, any boys you were interested in? In our class? Mm-hmm. Well, we had kind of some prominent ones. The, um, some of the big boys in the back of the run room, I remember, was Arnold Jackson of the Jackson Clinic. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh... uh Byron Nelson became a Lutheran minister, and uh, the Marshall boys, William Marshall and Richard Marshall of the bank, mm -hmm. and they were also church, too. They were church. And the Cargill boys. Were they, there any Frouchies there? I don't think there were any Frouchies uh, in my mm -hmm. class. Mm -hmm. I did know what that. What about Kubli? No, they weren't there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, one of some of the people that I've kept up with, well, Myra Myra Bur uh, Myra Emery, she's now Myra Burke. She just moved in here recently. Oh, and she was she was a medical doctor, and she married a med medical doctor. Mm. And uh, she was there at that time. Uh, she was in school at the same time oh. I was. Uh -huh. And it was quite unusual to get to be a lady doctor then, wasn't uh -huh. it? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. she, she was active in, in university in athletics, but she got interested in, in physical training. Mm -hmm. and, and then went into medical field. Uh, she, she was a doctor of allergies. I see. Uh -huh. Burke, uh, B-U-R-K-E? B-U-R-K-E. Oh, mm -hmm. uh-huh. Well, good. Uh, and, uh, well, so you you knew you were going on to the university, and you just started that fall and lived at home? Mm-hmm, yes. I, I, I don't know if that fall I did anything special. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, I, I went on to the university then that mm -hmm. fall. Mm-hmm. And you signed up for a library course right away? Well, no, I took a general a L and S cord oh, uh -huh. course, and mm -hmm. then, then later during and during those years, they 
uh, uh, maybe before that even, they gave the, uh, you could take the library course as a joint course in your senior year and get a credit toward your LNS degree. Mm -hmm. So I did that. So I had three years of straight LNS and then, then library school, mm -hmm. which took me to library school for much of my work above the library. Mm -hmm. in a Where way, was the library then? In the city library, on, you know, the, oh, old, I see. the old library building. Oh, that's right. Uh -huh. The old library building. They already had that library yes, school there. Yes, so you mm -hmm. see, that library mm -hmm. school was library established, commission. had been established there for about mm -hmm. 10 years oh, uh -huh. by the time I got there. Uh -huh. well, Where I were always Oh, excuse me. I always regretted that I didn't take the, the fourth year in LNS and take library school later. Mm -hmm. I might have changed my mind even if I had done that. But anyway, well, I, that's what I did. I took the joint course and mm -hmm. got both the library LNS degree and the library degree. Mm -hmm. so you got a At that time, it didn't, now the library school, you get a, a master's degree if you do a uh, library science. From right, library science, uh-huh. Uh -huh. So uh, what was the campus like when you went there in, in 1913? Well, I know that the medical section was way, you'd go to the medical school down where the, where the uh, union is now. It was, a, oh. it was a building way down there, a little low building you went. To, and I, I, my health wasn't very good. I had to go to the, to the medical the, section the quite often. And, uh, hmm. and, uh, and I, I, Another thing, I, I was excused from, um, you know, most of the students had to pass the swimming test, oh. but I was excused from swimming entirely. Mm -hmm. And when I, when I went to my work for um, gymnasium or that physical training, I was given rest, rest gym oh. and for some time. I'd, I'd go to, to the gymnasium and then I'd just rest. Well, then gradually they had me take a walk for, for 15 minutes. And, and the walk back mm -hmm. and gradually got more active. Mm. What was your problem? I had had trouble with the thyroid, two thyroid operations, mm -hmm. and that affected my heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it has always affected my heart, it still does. So, uh, and that ex explains also why I was less active in many things. I suppose. Because mm -hmm. I was always a little below par as far as the heart was concerned. Did you have the other childhood diseases? No, I think I had uh, not very many of them. I think I had chicken pox sometime mm -hmm. or something like that. But uh, Probably measles. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was this uh, thyroid condition. That thyroid was uh -huh. the main thing. Mm -hmm. So you w had to go, was this Lathrop Hall then? A Lathrop, Lathrop Hall, uh-huh. That's where uh -huh. you did your rest in. Yes, we went to Lathrop Hall. To and you didn't have to run around in those black bloomers then? <laughs> no, I didn't I didn't have to do any of that. <laughs> and later uh -huh. on, they, they gave me, uh, I could take, uh, what is that, where you, you blow something instead of a game or spend a, Bit of tennis or anything like that, uh, archery. Oh, oh yes, that was a that was big good. thing on mm -hmm. campus. That was I know good. for a while. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, did you have trouble walking up and down the hill? It Basket? was rather troublesome, yes. And often my father took the the car and took me up to school oh, uh -huh. in the car. Um, that was a usual Um, where were your classes primarily? Well, they were on the hill up in Bascom Hall. And Bascom and uh, Bascom mostly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was it called Main Hall then, or had they changed Yeah, it was the name? called Main Hall. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. And in the the education buildings, South Hall and yes, North that, Hall. Yes, some and of those uh -huh. other buildings. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there was a girls' dorm there at that time, wasn't there? Wasn't Chadburn there? Chadburn was there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And some girls stayed there. Uh -huh. And did you join a sorority? No, I didn't. Uh -huh. What sort of social life did you have? I didn't. I, my life was at home because I was living at home. Uh -huh. And through the church, I suppose, uh -huh. too. So I didn't do very much <coughs> socially around uh -huh. the university. Uh -huh. Did you have dates? No, I didn't. I you were a good home girl. Weren't I was you? a home girl, and I and I wasn't strong enough to do very mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. outside. Uh, do you remember the sports 
that were going on at the university? Yeah, well, I know they were going on, but I didn't pay much attention mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. I still don't watch <laughs> any sports. Oh, uh-huh. Huh. So you were pretty much businesslike, and the summers mm -hmm. did you um, uh, have a job, or did you stay at home pretty I much? I think I stayed home, because usually one summer I had to go up to, to the Mayo Clinic, and then I had to rest all that summer. Oh, uh -huh. and, uh so I couldn't do very much extra. Your uh, sister was living at home too? Yes, she was living at oh, home. She had a job by this time, mm -hmm, I presume. Yeah, she Where did she work? She worked at the, first she lived, worked on the square, and then she worked at the university most of oh, her life. she did? Oh. In the administration building. I see. Where was that at that time? Down the, the last, the little building, uh, it was now torn down on the end of State Street, mm -hmm. State and Park. In Park, yes, I remember mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And she worked there for many years in mm -hmm. the in the accounting department. Oh. Well, that was a good, steady job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, so when you finished, you graduated, then what did you do? I, I took a job at the city library immediately. Oh, you got a job that mm -hmm. was just waiting for mm -hmm. you there. Right immediately. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. was, there. was Alma Rungi your teacher at all? No, sh she wasn't. She was up there at the library school. She was teaching typing and that sort of thing, but oh. I had learned typing before, I didn't mm -hmm. need to, so she taught more uh, how to get things in order and I see. type them and make reports mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. For a while I know she traveled around mm -hmm. the state for the mm -hmm. library commission mm -hmm. uh, before she came back here to teach mm -hmm. too, and I'm not sure of the dates. Mm -hmm. um, so you were able just to walk a few blocks and be at your work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you liked it, I presume. Yes, I, I worked there uh, all these uh, many years, but I did have one year off. I went to, um, I took a, a job in the Library of Hawaii in Honolulu, oh. and I was there for a year, and that was a good experience. And then another thing I did, I went to Columbia University for three summers. Uh, taking special work in, in library science. And what, what years were those? Those were in the 1930s. That was after I had been to Hawaii. Oh. Uh, the Hawaii was 1926, 27. And you went uh, by boat, I presume. Yeah, we went by boat, both ways. Did and somebody then, else go too? What is it? So who went with you? I went alone, but I had a friend over there. Oh. Um, um, my friend from who, who lived who went to school here too at one time that I knew through the through our library, and she took a job over there and it was through her I heard about this opening. And did you have a leave from your job here? Yes, I had leave for a year. Uh huh. And you took a train out to the west coast. And I took the train to the west coast and then then took a boat from San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that quite a brave thing to do all by yourself? It was kind of a brave thing. It, it was not quite my type of thing, but... <laughs> <laughs> were but your I, parents... Uh, you were still living at home then? Yes, all and my time. sister was still at home. How long did you live at home? I always lived at home, lived with what? my parents until they died, and then I, mm. I finally... You see, finally, my... my mo first my father, mother died, <coughs> then my sister died of cancer, then my father died, and then I was left with the house. My brother, meanwhile, had gone away, you mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. And uh, so then I stayed alone about three years in the house, and then I sold it and went to an apartment on Langdon Street. Oh. And then I came here. I uh, do you remember the war at all, World War I? Yes, I remember that my brother went to World War I, oh. and yes, I do remember. The, uh, uh, how did he serve? How did what? How did he serve? Was he in the army? Yes, he was in the army. Yeah, he was. He got into it quite late. He was in school at the university too, oh. and uh, but he went and was uh, he was sent down south to uh, Mississippi, mm -hmm. and never got sent across. Oh. And then he came back and finished his schooling because he decided he better do that, finish it, and. Uh, well, you were mighty glad to have him be back and yes, uh -huh. not have to go overseas. And I've always been very close to my brother. Mm -hmm. He, uh, at the present time, he's in Arizona in the winter, but 
and he has no children, so I have no nieces or nephews. Oh, <laughs> but lots of, still lots of cousins, I presume. Yes, cousins. Mm -hmm. um, do you? Rem I wanted to ask you something about the changes after the war in the city. Uh, I presume you, um, uh, by then cars were very common, and mm -hmm. and I suppose they had the streets were paved and. I, I remember how hard it was to get certain foods, though, certain oh. foods. You had to have a, t a, a book of tickets for different things, and, and uh, I remember we'd go to the store with our little allotment, mm -hmm. and uh, we'd carry a lot of stuff home, you know. Yes, I remember my mother telling me it was that sugar was a real problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, with some, certain things some were staples. limited. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I presume that uh, Madison, without heavy industry here, was not as affected as some places. Uh, no, I think not. I think mm -hmm. it was. People seemed to have jobs and, and doing all right. Carrying on with what they were doing. Mm -hmm. Were you pretty conscious of the legislature being uh, just a couple of blocks from you? And Yes, I was. And at one time I was on one of these groups of women, women that go and went representing different clubs to meet meet at the legislature mm -hmm. and keep watching some of the bills. Mm -hmm. And that was interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes, I... And uh, who was the uh, president of the university, do you remember, when you were there? Uh, well, Burge was very active. He wasn't president, uh, but he was the one I was closest to. And uh, who was president when I was in the university? I don't know. I'm not sure. I either. can't remember. Mm -hmm. Van Heys, I'll guess. <laughs> maybe, maybe. No, I don't know. No, maybe. I have no idea. That mm -hmm. just came to me. Mm -hmm. Well, I was. Oh, I forgot to ask you about some of your professors too, and uh, your teachers at the university. Manchester was my advisor in oh. in English, mm -hmm. and Fish in history. Uh, Carl Russell Fish, and uh, I took. Um, uh, some philosophy courses, and and I took French and and German. You didn't um, get out to the engineering campus at all, or was there an engineering campus? Then? No, I mean, engineering bu building was right up on the hill, I think, oh, wasn't it? Um, probably I think so. Was. That's developed since. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the, and the uh, and the agricultural college. Uh, I was just beginning to get mm -hmm. started, I think, King Hall and a few like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you um, um, would go up to the square about this time, I presume, to, uh, did you remember uh, there was supposed to be a, a drugstore up there where people met quite a lot? Um, mm -hmm. I've forgotten what it was called. Meet me at I don't Menges or something. Oh, like Menges, that. yeah, Menges Drugstore was there, right, there, right near the drugstore now, that near Thirty on the Square. Mm -hmm. right That's where I was it. thinking it was, near mm -hmm. the Fuller Opera House. Uh -huh. And by this time, um, there were the university had expanded, and uh, oh, did, did you remember what the tuition was in uh, when you were going in, in the university? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, I don't really. I I wonder was it was it thirty dollars? That sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was not really a problem for you when um, if you were living at home. No, it was, it was pretty reasonable. Uh huh. That was very reasonable. I remember when my brother came back. The, the being having been in the army, he got his tuition paid, and I think uh -huh. that was thirty dollars. I see. Um, uh, as a veteran. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Did, did you go to May Day when it was up on the hill? Yes. I danced in May Day. You did? In spite of my heart. Uh -huh. Good. You didn't have to dance very vigorously. <laughs> what did you wear for that? Oh, I think I had a long flowing white gown oh. and a wreath in my hair or something. And then the, I think I had a picture of it somewhere of the whole group, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't find myself in it. But you wound <laughs> the ribbons around the maypole? Uh huh. Uh huh. On the oh. campus. <coughs> now that was a nice occasion, seems to me. Mm -hmm. And then, um, 
wasn't there a senior swing out or something like that? I don't know just what that was. Yeah, I think that was connected with that maple business, oh, I think. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then what was commencement like at the university? What was commencement like? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can remember that because uh, uh, I remember especially that my sister couldn't get off from her job to come to, come to commencement. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe she could have if she could have if she had enough nerve to insist on it. Mm -hmm. But um, my father and mother went, came to commencement, and I remember it's a big, very big group of people and very impressive. And I really where was it? It was in the in the uh, that field house. Was field it? house, yeah. Oh, the field, field house was there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I felt that I really accomplished something. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Uh -huh. and, uh, there were plenty of girls at uh, the university at that time, weren't there? Yes, there were. Mm -hmm. And there, there was no discrimination against them, except they didn't have as much housing, I guess. No. Uh, mm -hmm. I, my sister always thought I should have gone to, to, the, to, gone to one of the uh, dormitories. She thought it would have been good for me, but we decided against it. We thought it would better be under better influences at mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who was the minister at the Presbyterian Church then? George Hunt. Oh, he was here for quite a while. Yes, wasn't he? and he was very important in our lives mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Did you know any of the other ministers? Any, you mean others in town? Mm -hmm. The Baptist church was fairly close <coughs> there, wasn't it? And the Unitarian? Yes. The Unitarian ministers, uh, I, I used to go in there once in a while to hear some good speaker, mm -hmm. but I didn't know their ministers really mm -hmm. well. I knew some of the people that went there. One of my friends was Susan Groves of, of the Groves family, you know, Harold Groves oh, was yes. active mm -hmm. at the university. Mm -hmm. Did you know any of the of the uh, people who lived up in the area near the governor's mansion? Yes, um, one of my good friends after I worked in the library was Marion Fredrickson. Oh, she was up lived there right next to that big insurance mm -hmm. building. Mm -hmm. Her their house was taken along when they all those buildings came Looking along. The <coughs> building. Oh, uh -huh. Well, she was older than I was, but she um, she was a good friend. She's and her brother. Fife. They were very humorous people. They could put a, put on an act, you know. Oh, well, I, how I do you spell it. his name? Hugh, uh, Fife, P-H-Y-F-E. Oh, Fife. oh Fife. that sounds so Fife unusual. Is, I think that was his mother's maiden I name. I see, uh-huh. But they're, they, both, they both have died. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yes. Did you go for walks up along the, the lake up? Um, oh yes, I'd like there. to walk up in that mm -hmm. area. It's a pretty area, I thought. And uh, I knew other people are there. Catherine Middleton was another person that I knew mm -hmm. very well. She's, she ended up out at, at one of the nursing homes here. And uh, <coughs> let's see, who are some of the others? Bertha Frouchy, I, I got to know Bertha Frouchy after I joined AAUW, oh, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, but she was an, an older woman too. Where did you do your banking? I did it at the uh, the uh, what do you call the one the commercial bank? What's oh. the one uh, first? And then I gave I gave up and <coughs> went to the the First National in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. I heard that the that it had been called one of them was called the German, the German um, America. American. No, we mm -hmm. never went to that thing. Uh -huh. And um, then they changed it during the war to just American. The American, no. But a lot of Germans did go there apparently uh -huh. from the other uh -huh. side of town. I think our whole family went to the commercial, and then when they closed for a little while, uh, we thought we better chase scatter a little bit. Uh -huh. So I went to the first Wisconsin, I see. Uh -huh. and I'm still there. Mm -hmm. Well, that's interesting because there seems to be a, a real division between the two German groups, and they were really just across the square. But that may be because partly because mm -hmm. they were I don't know. There might be a reason for that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that was just their own little group there, apparently. But I just talked to Emily Wiedenbeck, and she was 
of the group that was on the other side of the oh, square. Uh -huh. And Emma Glenn's also mm -hmm. lived over in that area. But it wasn't very far, but I guess you didn't mix too much. Do you remember the um, in the 20s that there was a big change in the clothes and the styles for women? Yeah, I guess there were quite a few changes then. I didn't follow the styles very much myself. I was always conservative. Um, you didn't have your hair cut? I didn't have it cut until long, long after, when I was working. And my best friend, and my lifelong friend, was Rosette Reese, who came from, from Chicago, from, well, from Reedsburg and from Chicago later. Apparently. But anyway, she and I both had our hair cut at the same time, and Mary Smith was our boss at the library, and she said we both cut off our personalities. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How long had your hair been? Well, it had been quite long, and I wore it in the bun, buns over my ears. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Did you braid it and then went wrap and it When around? I was in high school, I braided, and my high school picture was braids around my head. Oh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And then when you were more of a lady, why you... Then, I, then that style of the buns over the ears or around uh -huh. here turned up, and we both had that, and Mary Smith didn't quite like that either. That was a little bit showy. But when we cut off our hair, then we really cut off our personality. <laughs> it was it was um, in the late twenties when you did that. Uh, that was yes. That was that was probably in, yeah, in the late twenties. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Before I went to Hawaii, because when I went to Hawaii, I had short hair. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy your year there? I enjoyed it very much. And again, I could have stayed on. I had an offer a job in the um, Bishop Museum as a librarian. They needed a librarian. But again, my health was giving way. Oh. I came back. I knew I had to come home. I had an operation, and I, see and I, I didn't dare take a new job. I, I knew I'd have to have a long convalescence. Mm -hmm. It was a um, uh, good weather there, though. I would yes, think. it was but that very, had nothing to do with your very, health. Very either. good weather. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No, that had nothing to do with it. Uh -huh. And that was the only time you had been away from home? That's the only time I really lived away from home. Mm -hmm. You must have felt pretty free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But glad to get back, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Did you enjoy that boat trip? Yes. I, the whole thing was a very good experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you ever go to Europe? Yes, I did go to Europe once, and just a few years ago, about 10 years ago. Oh. My brother and his wife took me along with them for a Christmas visit to England, mm -hmm. and we went for Christmas. And we met. Uh, and he, his wife, has a daughter from another marriage, and she and her husband were in school in England, or teaching. One of them was teaching, and one was in school. And we met them in England, and then uh, we were, we left them, and we went on to France, uh, just to Paris, and to. Um, Geneva. Mm. So well, it's really nice. To but have been this there. was a winter vacation, so we didn't oh. travel around mm. long. <coughs> well, the reason, one reason I asked was because Alma Rangi told me just at the last minute, practically, that she and another young lady had gone to Europe when they were in their early twenties, mm -hmm. and I was so surprised back in 1910 mm -hmm. or something, and I was really surprised um, because it was sort sort of a daring thing to do mm -hmm. then, but. She said they traveled all over Europe to mm -hmm. do this. This Marianne Fredrickson that I mentioned was there in the First World War. Oh, they mm -hmm. just and can return. They were warned to return, hurry up home, oh. hmm. because that was war was just starting. Well, I presume it was kind of nice to get into shorter skirts and not have to dust the streets with your skirts. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Although as a young lady, you probably wore them ankle length mm -hmm. anyhow. Yes. But um, for your mother, I imagine it was quite nice, especially yeah. in, in Wisconsin summers. It must yes. have been pretty hot with those long clothes on. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, the city was growing, I presume, and um, but you still stayed in the central section. Yeah, we stayed in the central, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. although we, we had a car later. But uh, I didn't learn to drive it either. My sister drove the car. Oh. <laughs> hmm. 
Um, then do you remember the stock market crash? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You probably weren't involved. But I you wasn't heard about involved it. then mm -hmm. in stocks. Mm -hmm. Do you remember about Lindbergh's flight? Yes. I heard that he came to, um, I guess he had he gone went to, to the university. He was here in Madison in school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was a pretty big thing. Mm -hmm. and it local seems area. to me when I returned from Hawaii, there was a big parade. He was in a parade uh, mm -hmm. in San Francisco. Oh. Uh -huh. Do you remember when radios came in? Yes, radio, radio. Uh, yes, I remember a friend of ours lived down on Wilson Street, and she was telling us that she had a machine that, that talked, mm -hmm. and, that, and that she didn't have to wind it up either. And we said, well, that's just like her. She always exaggerates things, <laughs> and she, <laughs> she thinks she has such a machine. <laughs> And it turned out to be true. It I wondered if your father didn't get a crystal set or something pretty soon. No, no. Well, no, we didn't didn't get one awfully soon. I don't mm -hmm. think I can't remember when we got our first one. You probably did have a Victrola though, didn't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did have a Victrola. Uh -huh. Played the listen to the Sousa records and mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah, we had, and, our, and we had some good records, and we gave them to a cousin who was teaching over at the Wisconsin Music School, or, and she said she could take those, she'd take all those old records, and when I moved in an apartment, she took all the old records and they gave them to the school. Oh, who was the cousin? Uh, Elizabeth Statz. Oh, uh-huh. Betty Statz, she played the cello. Hmm, I just, it wasn't the Kaisers uh, who, uh, there were some Kaiser girls at the oh, Wisconsin no, no, School of Music. No. Mm -hmm. She was the it was the school that was over here on the corner of Gilman and Henry, I guess. Is that mm -hmm. the corner mm -hmm. over there where they had a music school? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think my daughter took lessons there one mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Well, do you remember when the depression started here and what effect it might have had on Madison? Well, I I don't know. I, I don't know very much of it. It didn't have very much effect on me because the, my and my sister and I both had sure, secure Your job jobs. Your job was very secure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who paid the, the librarian? The city, what? The city librarian was was paid by the in the city by, by the by the city. Mm -hmm. uh, but our pension is in the state fund. Oh. The city fund is hmm. is with the state fund. I see. I just wondered if they had to cut back on salaries or hours or anything like that. No, we didn't have, no, no we didn't at the library, and I mm -hmm. don't think they did at the university. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the library kept growing, I presume. Mm -hmm. Yes. And more and more volume. Yes, and one of the important things that happened was when they no longer uh, supplied the school libraries. It became just a public library. Oh. And the schools took over their own school libraries. Oh, they had handled all. They the had handled. Libraries. They had handled that okay. before that. I know but there was a state traveling library. There was a traveling library, huh? But when the our last librarian that I worked under, and she became my good friend Helen Farr, uh, she worked on that to get the separate the school mm -hmm. libraries from mm -hmm. the public library. There were so many more schools then. I yes, suppose it was uh -huh. a big job to handle all mm -hmm. those extra books. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you always liked the library work? Yes, I did. Although I, I don't think it was quite physically the right job for me. I had very bad colds, and I don't have them since I'm not working in the library. Oh, oh. And I think there's a lot of dust and uh, new books mm -hmm. and, and printer's ink, oh, yes. too. Mm -hmm. That does so, affect you, all those chemicals. I and think. I do remember one of these Catholic families next to us, the priest, uh, was talking to me one day and asked me what I was going to do when I grew up, and I said I was going to be a librarian. He said that was just not the good job for me. He says I have a nephew who's a librarian, and it isn't a very helpful job. Oh. And he, but I failed to ask him what he would recommend I do. <laughs> <laughs> he might have thought you should go into the church. It's a good uh -huh. thing you didn't ask him. <laughs> Well, it's not, um, I suppose you get some activity, but it's certainly indoors and, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's, uh, what did you do in the library? I was the head of the catalog department. Oh. 
and that meant working at a desk most of the time mm -hmm. and and classifying and making the creating the catalog uh, who was in charge of the library while I was there mm -hmm. Mary Smith at first oh yes uh -huh. and then Helen Farr just oh, those two oh, she was the head of it I Helen see. Farr was uh -huh. the head uh -huh. Uh -huh. She came from Columbia University too, mm -hmm. and she is was a oh no Claire girl, and. Uh, what did you do on your vacations? Oh, af well, after Helen Farr was there, we traveled together a lot. Oh, you did. She, she loved traveling by a car, and uh, we went. Oh, we went to many uh, library conventions, and uh, we also went to. We were interested in in natural history and birds and so forth and the Audubon Society so we went on Audubon trips Good. and uh, you see she was just the right companion for me mm -hmm. she liked the same things I did and she had a car and was willing to use her car mm -hmm. and she liked to go mm -hmm. and she liked mm -hmm. to go uh -huh. oh that yeah. was good mm -hmm. when you, when you um, it's what you need is somebody who's stimulating and mm -hmm. willing to take some initiative mm -hmm. too and um, did you and your sister do things together yes we traveled together too mm -hmm. we took trips west uh, for several times western trips by train you know conducted tours oh mm -hmm. did you just get two weeks vacation no well, we get a month oh you did i got oh. a month oh that's nice and i think she got a three weeks at least mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, that gives you a lot more chance to, mm -hmm. to get away. Yes. Well, my sister and I did a lot of things together, traveled a lot. Well, let me ask you this. I just thought of it as this season. What was your Christmas, family Christmas celebration like? Well, we, we'd have Christmas tree, of course, and my father was always the Santa Claus. Oh. <laughs> and oh, 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 he was very hurt when finally somebody else took over as Santa <laughs> Claus one year. But anyway, we sang German songs, and mm -hmm. one of the girls had a recorder, and I always remember my mother sang a, a German uh, song, and they recorded it. I don't, I haven't asked them about that oh, for that years. Would be nice. <laughs> uh -huh. But uh, we would, and then we'd. Uh, this was Christmas Eve. We celebrated. We'd have a supper, and then we'd have our tree and our Santa Claus and our gifts. And On then Christmas then, Eve. Mm -hmm. And then the next day we go at one, one relative or the others for dinner. Mm -hmm. But was Christmas church, was church involved. Yes, yes, we go to church whenever whatever church services mm -hmm. are available. We mm -hmm. went to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the way, speaking of church, I have a, some books here that are so good by Barbara Pym. Did you ever hear of her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Aren't they good? Mm -hmm. And uh, my, my sister-in-law has been sending me some of her books right along and I've even reread some of them. <laughs> they are so good. Doesn't she have a new one out? I don't know what her, I think I'll be getting one for Christmas probably. Uh-huh, uh -huh. <laughs> I, I heard on the, or read somewhere, I think it was in Time Magazine that she had a new one that mm -hmm. uh, I put yeah, on my list to get. There was the a library. Time Magazine article and also in, uh, I think in Saturday Review had, a, oh. had an article. The Saturday Review comes so seldom now that I can't keep track of it. Do you remember Fourth of July celebrations uh, up around the square at the mm -hmm. Capitol? And State Street, yes. What would they do? Well, they're shooting off sour firecrackers. And I remember my brother going to that, and we'd always worry about him going <laughs> and staying so late. Did they have parades? No, they didn't. I don't think they had a parade. Just, mm -hmm. just running around, firing up. I thought maybe they had a band concert or something like that. They may have had some, which I didn't. There know. was a there was a big parade probably for Memorial Day. Mm-hmm. In the yes. did you march in that ever as a school child? No, I never marched in any parade. Mm -hmm. Didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> we used to our whole school class would go and uh -huh. not here but in the town uh -huh. we were in. But I uh, do you remember that I remember a great big parade, uh, it must have been in nineteen forty eight because it was the centennial of the city. And there was a really huge parade then. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, State Street's a little different now than it used really to be. It really is. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. But you enjoy living up here. 
close to the... Oh, I like living here, and I love, I think walking around the square is good exercise, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, there's always uh, things in the capital are, that you can go, and, and we're near the museums, we can go to the, uh, go to the Elgin Museum, mm -hmm. and go down to the, cap, the uh, Civic Center. Mm -hmm. So you get to the library often. And the I library. Uh -huh. Now you were were you still working there when they built no, this new I, building? No, I quit just before they. Oh, uh -huh. But I I was uh, I I still kept in close touch with the people at those years while they were building the new building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happened to that old library building? Well, I suppose they tore it down. Isn't that too bad? It was a nice building. It was very solid. Mm -hmm. As I recall, I it would have been a nice a city women's city club, mm -hmm. but uh, they needed parking, I suppose, more than anything oh, else. Oh yes, that's mm -hmm. what happens, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, so you've had a very pleasant life in Madison, and um, yes, I have, but I've had to be very careful, you know, in many <laughs> ways. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> well, it sounds like you've had a good time, and mm -hmm. um, um, I'm I'm really surprised that you're living at home so long. It happened that Alma Rungi did that too. She mm -hmm. lived on, down mm -hmm. there on mm -hmm. near the campus mm -hmm. and, uh, and from the time her parents had a barn with a horse mm -hmm. in it until uh, mm -hmm. they, until they died, I guess. So mm -hmm. Must be the way of librarians. Yes, I guess so. <laughs> well, do you have any comments? I think there are just a few more minutes on here about um, Madison and how you feel about it. I think it, Madison is a wonderful place to live. It has been always. To me it has, and I know it was to my parents. They felt so glad that they came from the little town of Sauk City and settled here. And uh, <coughs> But my brother, has, of course, has gone off because for business reasons mm -hmm. he could find things in other places. He went down to Tennessee when, when, the, um, uh, when they began to build the roads. In, in the Smoky Mountains, and oh, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. and then Norris Dam and all that development, you see, mm -hmm. so. But he's retired now too, so. And the what do you think Madison's advantages are? Oh, educational for one thing. Mm -hmm. Both both the um, MATC college and the university. And, all, and I think the public schools are very good, too. Mm -hmm. And I think the lakes are a great advantage, the beauty of the place. And I think we always have a pretty good city government. Mm -hmm. uh, we have more and more uh, suburb, suburban places so people can move out and won't have to live in the middle of town. And with the development of transportation, uh, if everybody has a car, why you can live at a distance. That's and right. Mm -hmm. If I were young again, I would. The first thing I'd learn would be to drive a car. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the the capital and the state government? Do you think that's a, a well advantage to the city or not? Oh, I think that's a great advantage to the city. Yes. Uh huh. And to everybody who lives in it, we can't help but keep a, some eye, keep eye eye on the capital somewhat, mm -hmm. and of the legislature. Mm -hmm and try to keep informed if we can. No, I think this, I think you're right that, that we certainly are conscious of it and uh -huh. we probably hear more about mm -hmm. it because we're right here and it does give a lot of employment too. I think for the same reasons that this is a good organization to live here, the Methodist Retirement Center location is good for people from out of town. There are many people here from Wisconsin towns oh. and they enjoy being so near the government, the city and the Mm -hmm. State and the federal, all here, oh, yes. centered you, here. You, you feel like this is where, where things are going on mm -hmm. and things are happening. Of course, the only disadvantage is we don't have good shopping uptown anymore. Well, that is too We've bad. Got, but then we can get out to the neighboring mm -hmm. places to, to shop with our transportation provided. And how do you feel about Wisconsin weather? Well, I, li I like to have the changes in weather. Uh, of course, I think it would be good to be gone and maybe in January and February <laughs> and March. To Hawaii. Uh -huh. <laughs> that would be nice. Uh -huh. Well, don't, aren't you planning to go to Arizona? Well, I did go one, one winter while my brother was there, and he's still there. Mm -hmm. But he's not going to live there. He's 
not go he's only there for the winter. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I don't really like to travel very much alone mm -hmm. and anymore. But I can get one of the cousins to travel with me if mm -hmm. I go anywhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that it sounds like you've had a, a very interesting and very competent life. I think it's nice to get into a field where you uh, are good good at it and mm -hmm. stick with it. Yes, I think probably made I made the right choice when I was about 12 years old. <laughs> what organizations in town have you belonged to? You mentioned AAUW. AAUW, and I still belong to Madison uh, Women's Club. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, I belonged to that for quite a while, but I don't go very often. And uh, uh, I belong to the the um, Audubon Club and uh, the uh, oh, I've got on all kinds of things I have to pay dues to. I can't I even remember the names of all of them. The uh, uh, art association and all those things. Yeah, it's it's there. No end of things to belong mm -hmm. to in Madison, mm -hmm. and I think the activities are. Uh, endless too. Mm -hmm. You can be as active as you want to be. And, uh, 